Hey everyone, yeah, I thought I'd do this while I'm on my lunch break and uh, try to get it out to you guys as soon as possible. Um, but you know, recently at the Pony Radio Con, which is a, I guess, an MLP FIM convention uh, in Russia, apparently it was very Hasbro sponsored, I guess, in a sense, that this, as far as we know, of any fan or any moviegoer or any fan of animation or any fan of Hasbro might know is one of the first and only times so far maybe until E3 or San Diego Comic-Con in a few months um, this is the first time we've gotten any information on the upcoming movie that's due out next year now one of the recent news facts that we got is the movie's uh, date, or release date, has been moved from November to October. Very wise move in my opinion because pretty much come November, you're looking at them going up against movies from Marvel and DC. One of the main major movies out of DC, I think around that time, will be Justice League Part 1. So... Yeah. Um, anyway, long story short here, uh, basically it seemed very hashbo-ish, as they called it, especially from the presentation. Uh, um, that they got now. Uh, thanks to a translation revealing a bunch. Now, thanks to. <clears throat> now they do thank. In Questio Daily, they do thank uh, someone for doing huge translations, revealing a bunch from the movie on the presentation. Now, again, we'll probably, if a lot of this is true, if it is true, then we'll probably get a lot more information, if not more so, come San Diego Comic Con. But this, for you diehard fans, is the information. The information that they got here about the movie is this is sort of they sort of uh, put it in order of how it was talked about now one of the revelations from the event is basically just a breakdown that a translator tweeted uh, from the event the translator says that the characters from what they've heard will undergo quote-unquote changes. Now this is followed by some moans and groans from the audience. We don't know exactly what those changes are though, so we'll have to wait and see. Now <coughs> the second part of this breakdown is according to the translator they spent uh, the presentation or the presenters or the Hasbro presenters I'm guessing I uh, spent four to five minutes of full quote unquote how well MP basically full detail uh, de basically talking about how well My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is doing. Uh, a third point in this breakdown is a theatrical show, a theatrical show based on the Equestria Girls uh, line will come out this autumn and winter in 50 cities of Russia. They say on the fourth part of the breakdown <clears throat> that the initial release date of the movie was the 3rd of November but it'll probably be moved to early maybe summer 2017 now that could be there that could be everywhere uh, as far as we know it's moved up a month it might be moved up a little uh, sooner than that we'll just have to wait and see they did say that Spike Spike the Dragon is confirmed for, for the movie uh, they also said that uh, it'll be like Lord of the Rings, but about ponies. Now they say, another part of the breakdown is, Trouble comes to Equestria, there will be many baddies, many evil characters. Now the translator says that they will make one small spoiler. For a portion of the movie, our main characters will transform into other creatures. Now we don't know uh, if that's a big portion of the film, a small portion, 
uh, in between portion we don't know it just says for a portion of the movie our main characters will transform into other creatures uh, they go on to say that the ponies the main six seven what do you want to call them will have to venture uh, beyond Equestria and enter a giant scary alien world they say there will be pirates hippographs and a lot of new songs they go on to say that this starts when uh, Twilight and Spike write invitations to a party and that some mega new star is going to sing there but then suddenly trouble they go on to say according to this and I'll provide a link down below uh, that everything will be ruined because of that and ponies will be captured now they go on to say that the ponies presumably the main six from what we can see here will become mermaids or mer ponies sea ponies if you will the mermaid transformation will be quote unquote unnecessary measure they go on to also say that the main six or seven whatever it is they'll go to those who already face these quote evil ponies and ask them for advice they continue on by saying they'll delve they'll dive into an underground she mentions they said underground kingdom and talk with the sea ponies who live there and it goes on to say that they have these funny air bubbles around their heads now that sounds very interesting very intriguing and definitely gets you hyped for what's to come and I know a lot of people might find it skeptical but I do again I'll provide the link uh, uh, down below in the uh, description box but again I know some people might find it skeptical and I you know honestly I don't blame them because I think we'll probably get more information maybe some corrections maybe some maybe some true facts true detailed ideas of what the movie's going to be like come San Diego Comic-Con so uh, honestly it does sound interesting if you're a fan of characters transforming into uh, other things other creatures you'll probably get a kick out of this I do like how they're gonna interpretate the sea pony deal by having the main six maybe seven turn into sea ponies mermaid ponies if you will uh, to accomplish this so uh, yeah obviously it sounds interesting and even for somebody that doesn't watch the show that much just it has respect for it for what it's become um i can't wait you know honestly i can't wait to see what they have to say about this at san diego this year so let me know what you guys think down below and i'll talk to you all later